It is a beautiful day in San Francisco. My friend Itai is coming into town, so we'll probably go meet up with him. I don't know if we'll actually make it to Oakland or not, so... I don't know, we'll have to see. Also, this morning, I changed shirts because it's super windy. Boost heaven drop. Jesus Christ, you guys like destroyed that drop. It was like, I literally refreshed and most of it was sold out. Like by the time I like posted everywhere on social media and refreshed, it was almost all gone. So like, like the tigers and the dragons and all that stuff, you guys just like cleaned it out. It, it's crazy, man. Like, thank you so much for the support. It's huge, it means the world to us. Um, I really like the fact that people are digging the designs and stuff like that. It's, it's pretty cool. Like it's cool. Yeah, it's just cool. All that stuff is shipping now. You've probably already got a shipping confirmation. Uh, you'll notice it starting to move soon. The team is on it. They're always pretty on it. If you have a problem, of course, send an email to us. We'll take care of it. Try to take care of everybody as best as we can. Um, there'll probably be another drop with all new stuff, probably even next week. We have these two pop-ups this weekend. New York and Boston are both getting a pop-up. Atlanta's probably gonna get a pop-up. Then I'm headed to London. London's obviously getting merch. Um, then I'm coming to Chicago. Chicago's obviously getting merch. Then I'm probably coming back to Denver. There might be a trip to Japan in there somewhere. But then I'll be back in Denver. Then I'll start taking a couple of tattoo appointments here and there and um, regularly scheduled somewhat life, I guess. At least I get to build a shoe room, so that's that's gonna be exciting. Especially since I've probably I've added quite a few pairs to the collection since I've been gone. I was gonna go to Oakland, talk to a bunch of my people, people in the streets, uh, what was gonna be the possibility of me copping shoes there, and it's looking pretty slim. So I'm gonna go back down, and I'm waiting on my friend, well, I'm waiting on my friend Itai, and then I'm just gonna go around San Francisco. There's a couple of spots that I didn't hit, so maybe I can find something. And yeah, we'll just go from there and see what happens, but other than that, we'll talk sneaker news, and That'll be about it. All right, so uh, Itai is taking forever. I don't think that he's actually gonna make it. He, for some reason, tried to rent his car. He can't rent his car, and I don't know. I don't know what's going on. So I'm going to record this, and then I'm gonna go. Nice, they're on the German side. Nice. Cop them shoes. Okay. Well, I guess I did buy a pair of shoes today. Nice. Yes. Fuck yes. All right. So I did cop some shoes, and I'm gonna get to it in just a minute. All right. So let's start with what's coming out sneaker-wise. Since I'm not gonna go out and buy sneakers today, I'm gonna go out and have fun and do stuff. But real quick, let's talk about all the shoes that are coming out. Um, first, the thing I'm most excited about that was announced. Well, there were rumors about it before, but we finally. Officially, I think announced today SNS Datomosh NMD R1, which comes in two colorways. It's super sick. Both colorways are super dope. Some people are calling this the Gucci. Um, I don't know, man. That shoe is so, both those shoes are so, so fire. The one with the red in it is my favorite. Return of an NMD R1 with no stripes. It's been a while since we had the no stripe NMDs. Those are my absolute favorite for sure. But that drops at SNS on May 12th and only at SNS as far as I know. So that one's gonna be rough, it's gonna be tough. If you want a pair, good luck. It's definitely not gonna be an easy cop, uh, but definitely a must cop for me. On May 20th, the Wish Sneaker Boy collab is coming out, or actually May 20th is the global release. May 13th is the consortium release. So Wish ATL and Sneaker Boy, which is in Australia, are releasing the Pure Boost and the Climacool, both which glow in the dark. Uh, it, the shoe is inspired by a jellyfish because there's a lot of jellyfish, poisonous jellyfish in Australia. And then there's also a similar jellyfish in Georgia where Wish is, that is in the aquarium. So they kind of referenced that and built the shoes. Both shoes are pretty sick. The Climacool, I really like the way the Climacool looks. I will be copping the Pure Boost. I know I don't really like the bubble on the side of the Pure Boost, that's the only thing that's been keeping, well the tongue and the other Pure Boost models and the little bubble that's on the side are not my favorite parts of the shoe. Bubble is still intact on this one. The tongue looks different. 
I'm still copying. Um, I really like the way the knit looks and then the, the photos of it look beautiful. So hopefully it is, but that's a must cop for me, definitely. And uh, yeah, release dates on the 13th and the 20th. On May 6th, Kith is getting uh, three different colorways of the Adi Zeros LTDs. Uh, they've released, Adi Zero LTDs have like released randomly here and there and kind of like limited. I haven't really seen a lot of it around. So three new colorways that are, I think one of these colorways is released before, but three shoes that are all released at Kith. There's a, there's a burgundy and orange one, a navy and a red one, and then the previously released one is the Night Cargo. That's the one, but those didn't come in my size before. Um, a lot of the people I talked to didn't really love the shoe. Some people do, some people don't. I, I've never even seen one in my size, so I don't know if I'll actually cop them or not. I would probably grab the navy pair if I was going to grab a pair. That's the pair that stands out to me. There's a royal blue uh, EQT 9317 that's supposed to release. Super sick. They're just killing it with the EQT line right now. Everything I've seen that has EQT to EQT boost on it is super sick. Black ones released last week and the United in the United States as far as I know and as far as I've seen nobody got anything larger than a size 10. UK seems to have gotten up to a size 13, 13 and a half I may have seen. I can't really remember. And I can't remember if that was UK sizing or if that was US sizing. I don't remember. But they didn't have my size anywhere that I've been or seen. So I had to pass on those for now. I'm sure they'll show up eventually. I'm hoping that they do a bigger release of that shoe. And it's not just some quick little, you know, oh, we released 10 pairs of those and go fuck yourselves. But yeah, hopefully they release more of those, but I don't have any information about it. We're still waiting on Ultra Boost mids. You keep seeing a lot of photos of this tan colorway that's around. Uh, there's no release date yet for them. They're a must cop for me. I've seen multiple colorways. There's like a burgundy colorway, olive green colorway. They're all sick. Really looking forward to the Ultra Boost mid. The tongue to me is a little strange off top. Like I don't understand the tongue system so much, but I'm excited to try them on and see what's up with them. And I think the first release that we're going to see of that shoe is around September, but I don't think anything's official yet. The R1 linen, I think they're calling it the linen colorway. I've been calling it like the honey crisp or the golden wheat or something. I don't even know what else. That shoe release is also on May 20th. It's, you see pairs all over already. A couple of weeks back, some of my people in store like Champs and Foot Lockers were sending me photos saying they were getting them in. That's why you see a lot of pairs here and there. A couple of YouTubers have already reviewed them I've seen. So uh, the R1 linen though officially drops on the 20th. I'll definitely cop that shoe. I think that'll be an easier shoe for everyone to get. I don't think it's going to be too hard. I mean, they'll sell out, but I think you'll see restocks of it here and there and maybe even a somewhat general release as far as that shoe goes, but we'll see. You know, you never know. Uh, we're still waiting on the multicolor Ultra Boost. I have no idea when this shoe is set to release, but there have been like official photos released of it. So hopefully we get it soon. The multicolor 3.0 is definitely one. I know everyone, well, not everyone, but some, a lot of people are looking forward to it. Probably going to be a similar, similar release to like the Chinese New Year's. And then the shoe that I was going to talk about today, that released when I wasn't paying attention because I've been all over the place, is the EQT 9317 Prominent in the OG colorways. I realized that this shoe released. I talked about it a couple of weeks ago. I was like, if this shoe, there was a non-boost version and I was like, if this shoe releases with boost on it, it's on. You know, a week later, someone sent me a photo of it with boost on it and I knew I had to have it and I just completely, I didn't think it was coming that soon. So I slept on it and I was looking today, they didn't have anything in my size. So I got on to Adidas UK and realized that they had a whole size run, not pretty much a full size run of the shoe. And so uh, I was able to cop them via Matt Sager, via his brother who lives in Germany. They're also on the German site. So we ordered them off the German site and then I will actually get to pick those up in London because all of the Sager brothers, there's three of them, including Matt, are gonna be in London. It should be pretty, I'm super excited now. I'm like really excited. That's probably what you're gonna see me wearing in London because I think that shoe's super sick. I think the colorway is sick. Everything about it is super dope. Super fire, as I like to say. Fire all peppered in, you know, it's, it's dope. So, um, really looking forward to that. Cannot wait to put them on my feet. All right, now let's talk about this Lonzo Ball shoe because <laughs> I really just can't not talk about it. Um, so I don't know much about sports. Everybody knows, like, I don't know anything about sports currently. You know, if it's pre-2000, year 2000, from 1990, like, I kind of know what's up. But I don't know much about sports now. Lonzo Ball, as far as I can tell, he's a basketball player. His dad is doing all this, like, weird marketing around his success. And... They tried to make a shoe with all these companies like Nike turned him down, Adidas turned him down, Under Armour turned him down.
and now he's making his own shoe. I don't know if there's like through his own company, which I think is called like Big Baller Brands, if that's right. I don't really know, but uh, the shoe itself is fucking atrocious. It looks like a Kobe and an Ultra Boost mixed together, most definitely. It's got like ripoffs of like four different shoes on it. The boost on it is like of sketcher quality, sketch sketcher level boost you're trying to rock here. Like, and the kicker is that it's six hundred dollars. So I don't know what the hell's going. On. I don't know who is gonna buy that shoe. I don't know why they would buy that shoe. I'm not judging you if you do buy it. It's fine. It's it's atrocious. You know, like I had to spit out my I had to spit out my matcha this morning when I saw it. I, I can't believe I, yeah, I just oh, I can't believe people do some crazy stuff. That shoe is um is awful. That, that's about it. I don't know when it, well, I guess it comes out already. I guess it was pre-ordered today. So they want to see how many people actually pre-order this damn shoe and then they can start production, I assume. It's, uh, it's pretty bad. So Lonzo Ball is a don't cop for me. If you're going to, if you're going to cop them, please tell me in the comments that you're going to cop them. Cause I really want, I really want to know who, who's getting them. I might try and go hit another couple spots up. So if I come back and turn this camera on, it'll be because I found shoes. If not, then this is the end.